What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out this Truxedo Truck Sport soft tonneau cover on this 2019 Ram Classic 1500. The soft tonneau cover is gonna be a good idea for your truck to give it that nice clean look. I like the way it looks on the back here. Everything in the bed is covered up. So whether you got tools back there for work, some lumber, or you just want it covered up, you like the way this looks, it's gonna be a good option for that. It might not be as secure as like a hard tonneau cover, but this is gonna still keep it looking nice. We're gonna roll it up towards the front. That's the nice thing about the soft tonneau cover. It has two latches. So you got one on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. Now it's gonna spring up when you release that last one. So be careful of that. Now we roll it up towards the front while we're doing that. The nice thing about the soft tonneau cover is it's not gonna take up a lot of space. So there's other options out there, like the hard tonneau covers are like a tri-fold that has a design that folds up in three panels. And those are nice because they have a little bit harder top, but they take up a lot of space here. So you'd lean it up against the back window and you'd sacrifice being able to look out the back window when you need to backing up to something. This only takes up about this much space right here, it's under the headrest in the back seat still, so you, it's not gonna take up any of your visibility. I like the soft tonneau cover too because there's a canister style that all slides straight into a canister. Those are lower profile, but then a canister is gonna sit down here in the bed. So that's gonna take up a bunch of your bed space as well. This way, there's all open to use your whole truck bed. You can roll this up, it doesn't impede your view, and you can still roll it out and keep your truck looking nice. If you are gonna maximize your bed space, you can clip in these hooks to these loops to keep the cover rolled up and towards the front of your truck. It being a soft cover, it still has support. We have two bars here in the middle that help it keep its shape. So it's not bowed up or anything like that. The bars fit right here in the track, but also support the cover, keeping it tight. The tile cover is held on by these clamps they go around the bed on your truck. So one clamp goes underneath here. One goes here in the grooves and you'll tighten that down. There's gonna be three on each side holding the rails in place. They're really easy to install, which means they're also gonna be easy to take off there too if you wanna remove the cover for any reason. But check out how we installed it. First thing we wanna do is prepare to attach our pads here. So this is gonna be the bulkhead seal. It's gonna go up here on the bulkhead and then these triangle pads are gonna go at the end of the tonneau cover rails that are gonna go on the bed rails here. You get one alcohol wipe. You might have some more cleaning alcohol with you you can use too, but we're just gonna open that and I'm gonna clean off the bulkhead first and then the ends of our rails here so that the adhesive will stick. Now we're gonna put our bulkhead seal on. As you unroll it, you just line it up with the bulkhead. Trying to keep it as straight as possible as you attach it. Once you got the appropriate length, just snip it with some scissors or whatever you have in your shop that'll cut it and then we can peel back the backing. Now we're gonna set our tonneau on the front of our truck bed here on the bulkhead. You want it to roll out towards the tailgate. That's how you can double check to make sure it's set up here right. Now we're gonna attach our side rails to the tonneau cover. We just set them on the bed rails on your truck. You're gonna look up front. You see there's a D, that's for driver's side. The other side has a P for passenger side gonna slide in to the end of the tonneau here. Slides into place like that. Now I'm gonna bring the tonneau up so I can push this forward just a little bit more. We're gonna go to the front of our bed and install our first clamp. So you're gonna have three clamps that you're gonna evenly spread out on the side rails. They said you want to put the front clamp as close to the front as you can. Check underneath the rails, make sure there's nothing in the way. It seems like we can get all the way up to here have a good grip so that's what I'm going to do. Now the rails you can't leave it put together so you'll have to disassemble the clamps. You'll get a better look of it when you install that back one but it's going to set it into place. Line up 
the bolt, the hole, and then hand tighten that just to keep in place because you still are going to have to adjust once we put all three clamps in place. It's the same as the front. You want to get it as much towards the back as you can. So that looks good right there. You see that the teeth on our clamp are going on the grooves on the rails. Then I'll line up underneath. You want this part to be flat up against the bed rail. And I'll just get it hand tight until it stays in place because we still have some adjustments to make, but we want to make sure we get the clamps where they need to be. Something to help out just to get it a little bit more than hand tight is I got a socket, half inch socket to use on here. It helps me just get a few more turns on this to keep it in place. Now for the center, it's gonna be much like the front and back. You wanna get it as close to the center as you can. Put our clamp in place and get it hand tightened. I'm looking at the wheel well here and just put it in the center of that because that's gonna match on the other side. Everything I did on the driver's side, you're gonna repeat the same process here on the passenger side. Now we're gonna roll out our cover to make sure it's all even. You also wanna make sure the bar here doesn't land on the clamps in the center. Looks like we avoided all of them. We don't have to worry about the clamp contact with our center bow. Then just bring this through Push down and it looks good. And pulls it nice and tight. It looks even. Make sure there's no overhang on the sides. The last thing we want to do is close the tailgate. Now we're going to come back and tighten down our clamps at the rear towards the tailgate. We're going to do this on both sides. And we're going to work our way back to the frontmost clamps. Making sure these stays in the grooves as we tighten it down. Now we'll roll it back towards the tailgate. We're gonna add our protective corner seals here, just like we did earlier. We're gonna get that, clean that off with some alcohol, and then add the sticker. We're gonna clean off the corners here. That's what we're gonna put on both sides, our corner seals much like we did earlier. Clean off with alcohol to make sure it sticks and then line it up and attach it. It's time to close the cover. We got it lined up in the grooves on each of the rails. Pull down, you should hear a click on both sides. And it's good. So now I'll close the tailgate and go along the sides and adjust the hook and loop. It might not line up exactly on the first try, but it will stretch out as you leave it out in the sun. Just go down, but it only had one wrinkle in it. Fix that, do the same thing on the passenger side. Overall, I do like this tunnel cover on this truck. I like the way it looks. I like that you can cover up the truck bed, leave your cargo on the inside, lumber, tools. You don't have to worry about the elements getting to it. You don't have to worry about anybody else getting to it either, especially when you close the tailgate and lock it up. I like that it doesn't take up any view here. At the back, when you do roll it up there, if you need your full bed exposed, you can roll this tunnel cover up and it doesn't block any of your mirror in the back or looking back over your shoulder. It's not gonna be in the way. Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and hope this helped.